a um, sad day today um, when you see ponds getting built and then circumstances change um, which is why which is the, the only reason I wanted to do this video really is to show people that especially young people that are coming into the into the hobby which is brilliant for that be more young people the better keep doing it but think about the pond that you're going to build because you don't know what what is around the corner you really really don't know um i remember doing this video um for the channel and it was really exciting and it was the one that he's he had a sleeper pond the wooden sleeper pond and then he built the magnificent indoor pond um but things just change and i think it's probably just better to show you um rather yeah it's um heartbreaking looking at it but anyway I'll show looking down here and going this is the old pond which is the which is the sleeper pond which is running and I remember saying that you know he built this and then he you know he, he had a load of different filters black boxes things and stupid pressurized things and then you know he came into us and he said we said oh well, you better off putting a bottom drain and within three days he'd redone it all put a bottom drain in put a nexus in put the tempest in loved it but then as with many people you get the bug and then he built an indoor 8,000 gallon pond which we're going to take a look at now which well you've seen it all before I'll link the I'll link the video which I'm doing I'm just sort of like a reverse video and then the sad sight of an empty decommissioned pond now when I said about circumstances I mean the customer the owner of the pond he was he has his own business and on a Monday he was moving moving his yard moving part of his business to a new place and heard about an amazing opportunity um, of a farm um, where he could move all his house, he could move his family and they could move all the business and everything to this farm. And by the Thursday, he would put an offer in and everything had been accepted and that was it. So, you know, all from being in one place, the whole thing changes. So if you remember rightly, you know, we had the pond there and then we've got the, we had the nexuses and everything down there. But unfortunately, that's all gone. But, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it, mate? Eh? Yeah. It's a bit sad. The only good thing about it that's come from it, really, is the um, we're going to go up now and have a look at the farm and have a look where the new pond's going. It wasn't going to be a new pond at first, was no. there? That was it. It was it. That was it. It was all gone. All gone, end of the road. But now, um, thankfully... He's come back into it, and we're going to have a look where the new pond's going. But yeah, it is a it is a bit of a shame. Particularly just to, you know, the, you know, this thing was just a just circumstances, and when circumstances change, which are better for you, better for you, and you know, a lot of people, you know, sometimes you don't even know you're buying a house until somebody says something or somebody does this or somebody does that. You know, when people come into my and ask about, oh, we're going to build a pond, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. You know, one of my first questions is always. Are you staying at this house? You know, they say, I'm going to fire, but that's what I'm going to do. And then they'll say like, oh, I don't know. We're not sure yet. But, you know, people, jobs change, you know, sometimes for the worse, sometimes for the better. You know, so it's always, it's always shrewd to think of the future and what you're going to, what you're going to do in the future. So, you know, a lot of people, they'll put a temporary system in because they know they're going to move in two years time. It doesn't mean that you can't still stop keeping coy. But it's just, you know, until you find that you're going to be in a house for X amount of years, don't go crazy and, <laughs> and waste and waste loads of money. Because you don't know what's around the next corner, you don't. You know, and, and from one chance meeting, moving a yard for business, you know, that, that's the reason why this pond's got to go. I mean, the house, is, the house is sold now and everything like that, and now everything's just having to be moved out. So, you know, but what a magnificent pond it was. You know, there's not going to be many better ponds than this, um, you know. And, you know, for, the, for what it was running, it was probably only running about 15, 16 months. So, you know, it's a sad state. I mean, the times we came down here and the fish we put in there. So, you know, the fish are all okay. But, 
you know, it's just um, just to show people really that, you know, circumstances are never the same. You never know what's around the next corner when it comes to ponds. So, you know, make sure that when you do plan a koi pond, you plan it knowing you're either going to stay there or is there a chance that you're going to move? You know, there's so many different factors in life. I mean, we know somebody who's just, um, unfortunately, the parent, one of the, you know, the, the parent died and um, they moved into their house, which, you know, uh, one of them things, and then they've sold their house and now they're going to build a new pond. But, you know, the pond that they built was only three years. So, but, and the end of one pond, but now we're going to go up and see where the new pond is going and and the thing is i mean when you see the new place i think 99 percent of people would understand why he's done it especially where we are in north wales just just what you can get down here for for you know something up in something you know even 100 mile away that cost millions it's just it, it's one of those things where most people would say he did the right thing it's a shame with the pond and everything but i think I think we'll see where um, where the new pond is going to go up at the new place. I think we'll see. But anyway, let's go and have a look. And this is the new place. It's going to take a lot of work, but I'll tell you what, when it's finished, the land goes all the way up there, all the way up there, all the way across there. It's massive, I think it's about 30 acres. How many acres is the Daryl? 19. 19 acres. Oh. The actual, the new pond lake that he's gonna build, he wants something like a big natural pond. It's gonna go from about there, and it's gonna go, say to the end of there where that trailer is, and all the way around and then come out a little bit as well so it's going to be massive but i think it's, it's, I think it's about 50 meters yeah not impressed with that don't worry all the sheep and all the animals are going so within the next week or so i think everything's been um, done and then they can start working on everything the house is period from the 1800s I've just been inside it, it's absolutely amazing. But anyway, this isn't the house channel, but we will get to see how this goes on. I mean, there's not gonna be any updates anytime soon, but as soon as he's in here, there's gonna be machines digging all that out. So I reckon in the next two weeks, there's gonna be a pond there. And then we're gonna have a look, we'll see, see what happens. But yeah, I mean, the views, the land, just where it is, it's just incredible. So yeah, now I know why I did it. Beautiful. See you on the next one. Just come down to the bottom, well, of one of the fields. You can see the house up in the distance there. Just looking and there's actually a stream that goes through and it actually goes up all onto the other side as well. So that'll fill the actual lake and Welsh water coming straight off the mountain up the top, I'll show you. Any, so you know it's gonna be good. See if we can just see the uh, 